What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I'm getting set up because we're going to have our live stream at 4.30. Um, this will be a vent session here. We've got a lot of stuff that's going on. Uh, more cases of Stephen Jones being a cheap, you know what, uh, with the Dallas Cowboys, but we're still dealing with the drama that is the Randy Gregory situation. It's it's almost comical to me um, how we went from the situation with Randy Gregory, okay? Um, how people will, after the Dallas Cowboys literally took one of the best route runners in football and traded him for a ham sandwich, um, basically selling his name. After the Dallas Cowboys lowballed J. Ron Curse, um, and still have yet to get that worked out to the point where J. Ron Curse has yet to get into the fold uh, or even have anything to do with the Dallas Cowboys as far as his Instagram goes, to have heard that the Cowboys literally tried to lowball Demarcus Lawrence and only offer him a $10 million contract. Um, literally, that the assumption is that everything with Randy Gregory was fine and dandy, that the Cowboys were negotiating with him in full faith, that Randy Gregory was just um, just greedy or didn't want to take self-responsibility. You know, let me say something here, because th this is a whole thing where now Randy Gregory, it's he said, she said. But I don't know, honestly, if you take the emotions away of being a Cowboys fan. We are diehard Cowboys fans, and we want to believe in our fans. It's kind of like sometimes you have a relationship where you have your spouse that you don't want to believe that they're doing things that you don't want to believe that they're doing. Your boys tell you, dog, shit's dirty. I'm telling you. Instead of you dealing with the situation and actually looking, you're going to take the side of your partner. You're not going to listen to what others have said and let you know what's really going on. And what happens is eventually it catches up and you find out the hard way, damn, I should listen to my boys before I was too late. So real, just, just a few hours ago, Randy Gregory got into a Twitter thing here um, with some people. Randy Gregory said, y'all options don't pay my bills. That was his first response. And then this guy, Jay Blevins, shout out to him because now all of a sudden he's got a name because he is now engaged Randy Gregory. Um, your bills were going to get paid with the contract the Cowboys gave you. It was the same contract with one extra rule for you to follow. You didn't want to be held accountable. Same problem that has caused you to be suspended so much. Okay, let's be clear here for a second. I, I, I want to at least say, I, I, you know, I, and it doesn't matter because the thing is, is everybody is so rigid on their beliefs, they're not going to change their opinions one way or the other, and I'm probably just wasting my breath. But here's the thing. If you were to look at some players out there that have had problems from gun possessions, say alcohol, um, along with the drugs and, you know, suspensions for PEDs and domestic violence. If there was a track record of all kinds of things that were going on that this person were doing that were against NFL policy, then you say, yes, of course you should. The thing about Randy Gregory is you can say he has some boneheaded calls at the worst time. Tackling an offensive lineman, you can't have it when it's third down and we need to get the ball late in the game so we can have more time. That is a terrible thing. Hitting a quarterback late or low when it's third down and, you know, we, we have a chance to go ahead and get something. Or a late hit that's, you know, tack on another 15 yards onto a play. That was, you know, those are things that happen on the field that you say you hate to happen. But let's be clear. You never heard Randy Gregory ever late to meetings. You never heard Randy Gregory not showing up for drug testing. You never heard Randy Gregory out drunk driving. You never heard Randy Gregory yelling or cussing at a coach 
or you've never seen him out on the field fighting anybody. The only thing that you've had with Randy Gregory is he smoked weed. Well, guess what? It's not a suspendable offense. It's not. The NFL and the new collective bargaining agreement took that out. They can fine you for smoking weed. You can pay the NFL, basically, I guess you could call it the, the weed tax. They can do that, but they can't suspend you for smoking weed. That's the only thing that Randy Gregory's ever done. So when somebody goes through one extra rule to follow, because you don't want to be held accountable, same problem that's caused you to be suspended so much. Well, that thing that caused him to be suspended so much before doesn't exist. And whatever happened to doing paying your debt to society or your debt to the NFL, he's done all his suspensions. He's lost all that money. He's done, done all those things that took care of it. But Randy Gregory then responded on top of this after this guy, and let me read what he said. Your bills are going to get paid with the contract the Cowboys gave you. It was the same contract with one extra rule for you to follow. You just didn't want to be held accountable. Same problem that has caused you to be suspended so much. Randy Gregory's, of course, shots fired back at the Dallas Cowboys. Nope, your owners acted in bad faith, all free agency. They've been awful quiet lately, huh? Wonder why, laugh out loud. Can't wait for you guys to ask them the same questions. So Randy goes ahead, and instead of us taking this little nugget where, you know, Jay Bubbins is literally saying, oh man, you're just, you know, you just want to be, don't want to be held accountable. No, what you have to actually look at is the big picture. This is your boys telling you that your wife is dirty. And you don't want to listen. This is a pattern. It's just happened that Randy Gregory had an outlet for it, an off ramp where you mean I can get a deal for the same amount of money and not have to worry about this extra clause? I mean, that's just like saying, hey, buddy, um, I'm offering you the job. You can stay here at $25 an hour or you can go over here for $30 an hour doing the same job. Which job would you take? You take the one that's a better offer, I would assume. Maybe you wouldn't. Maybe you'd want to go ahead and take a job, you know, a one that could possibly take your pay from you and your livelihood for a fine that's not suspendable and retroactively take the money I've already paid you. But you miss the picture of what's going on with the Dallas Cowboys and free agency and how they're dealing, how they're lowballing their players to the point where they're ready to say, screw you, release me, where you're putting in things that other teams aren't, that PA players are saying, I can go elsewhere and have to deal with this. And you are literally pissing off your own free agents to the point where they don't want anything to do with you, which means you're also sending the message to other players that says, you don't want to go there. They're a mess. They're hard to deal with. They're a pain in the ass. And so it's kind of hard to disagree with what Randy Gregory says. It's kind of hitting home. And this isn't different from what we've heard from other guys that have left when they're no longer under that clause where I can't say anything negative about the Cowboys. We heard Cole Beasley says, it's nice to go someplace where the focus is actually playing and winning games. We heard that from Jason Hatcher. We heard that from James Washington uh, back in the day and a lot of different players that once you get out from under the Dallas Cowboys and the star and the branding and the, the, circus that it is, it's a lot different elsewhere dealing with other teams. And I believe that this will actually hamstring us some. But hey, we will definitely talk about this um, coming up in about an hour and 10 minutes on our uh, Sunday evening um, vent session. We're going to be going starting at 4.30 instead of 4, uh, so Roland's Review can get her stuff in before this. So I'll see you guys there. All right, peace.